If you're a complete beginner and want to start creating your own models for 3D printing, how would you go about doing that? Well, first, it starts by knowing exactly what kind of designs you want to make first. Do you want to create articulated designs like minis, flexis, or toys? Or do you want to create functional designs like storage crates, toolboxes, or organizers? By knowing exactly what you want to create, then I can point you in the right direction into what software you should use for that specific thing. Now, instead of telling you all the different softwares that exist, because truthfully, there's a lot, I'm going to personally tell you what I personally use and kind of break down which one works for what you're trying to create. Now, if you want to create functional designs, toolboxes, storage crates, organizers, anything that will be practical or even useful, then I have personally used Fusion 360. Fusion 360 is my main software for creating my own products and designs, just like the ones you see here. And the good thing is that they have a free hobbyist license for anyone who wants to get started, and it's free for up to one year. The only drawbacks to this software is that it is a cloud-based software, which has some limitations. And if you do opt for the more premium plan, the cost can go up to $85 a month or around $600 per year, which is kind of steep, especially if you want to pay for the product. But if you plan to use this for commercial use, then I see no reason why you shouldn't pay that price. But for most people, the hobbyist license should be just fine. The second functional software is Shaper 3D. Now Shaper 3D is perfect for a tablet if you prefer design or model on the go. The good thing about Shaper 3D is that it's also free with a 14 day free trial. But after that 14 day free trial, you will have to pay either $38 a month or $2.99 a year. The only upside to this software is that it is portable, meaning that you can model on an iPad which is pretty good. But otherwise, if you really don't care about the tablet features, then probably won't be as useful to you. These are the two main softwares that I've used to create functional designs like this. But what if you want to create articulated fun designs? Here's the softwares that I've used. The first software I've used is Blender, which is 100% free and there is no paid plan or trial or anything like that. Blender is free and there are tons of resources, guides, and tutorials around creating your own custom designs, whether for 3D printing, rendering, rigging, it doesn't even matter. There's so many features to this software. It's probably one of the most robust softwares you'll get when it comes to a free 3D modeling software. The only downside to Blender is that it does have a steep learning curve and you do need to know the hotkeys and shortcuts in order to maximize the productivity of this software. That's the exact same software we use to create articulated designs just like this. So once you know the software, creating your own models isn't too difficult. Keep in mind the learning curve is kind of steep. Another way to create articulated designs just like this is through Nomad Sculpt. Nomad Sculpt is primarily used on an iPad or a tablet. And the good thing about this software is that it's a one-time cost of 20 bucks, basically giving you access to the entire software, sculpting features, and toolkit. Keep in mind, this software is primarily to be used for sculpting, which has some limitations. But for the most part, if this is the type of models you want to create, then this is going to be perfect for you. 